The Tezos ecosystem has a new ally in the form of USDC. Thanks to Circle, by year's end, USDC will be issued on the Tezos blockchain. This integration will strengthen Tezos further, solidifying it as the world's most advanced blockchain. In this video, I'm going to give you that and two more huge developments coming out of the Tezos ecosystem. Stay tuned. Welcome back to another episode of your Digit Hustle News. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking Tezos because they have had some huge developments to come out this week that I can just I, I just can't wait to tell you. OK, but before we get into that, guys, I want you to make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for crypto adoption news, not just Tezos, but all of the coins, your favorite projects, news and updates can be found right here on Digit Hustle News. But with that being said, let's get into the big story. What I feel is the biggest story to come out this week, okay? USDC to be issued on the Tezos blockchain. Now, this post came out yesterday morning. It says USDC coin will be issued on Tezos within the coming months. Center members have announced to uh, issue the USD coin on Tezos, the world's most advanced blockchain. Tezos has reached over 2 million contract calls in June, driven by the thriving DeFi and NFT ecosystems. Yesterday, Centra, a consortium supporting the stablecoin USDC, founded by Circle and Coinbase, announced that Centra members will issue USDC on Tezos within the coming months. The upcoming integration of Tezos with the USDC ecosystem brings together USDC, the world's leading digital dollar stablecoin, with Tezos, an energy efficient proof of stake blockchain with on-chain governance. Tezos also celebrates its three-year anniversary since Mainnet launched this month, making it one of the first and longest running proof of stake blockchains. Game developers, music labels, comic book creators, sporting franchise, central banks, and more are all building on Tezos. Tezos is also home to the largest NFT marketplace, Hick at Noop, and was recently selected for technical partnerships with F1, uh, Honda, and McLaren Racing. Additionally, Tezos has a growing DeFi ecosystem with ERC-20 bridges for low gas cross-chain utility yield farming protocols and surging AMM platforms. And if you don't know, AMM are the automated marking, uh, market making platforms, which is essential to your bigger exchanges like Binance, KuCoin, Kraken, etc. But USDC, on the other hand, has rapidly grown in the largest stablecoin ecosystem. Uh, system in the world and recently surpassed a market cap of 25 billion. Now, they say that USDC is the top. I still think Tether's market cap might be a little bit bigger, but that is surely changing. Okay, that'll be a subject for another video. USDC, I feel like by the end of the year, is going to overtake Tether. But hundreds of companies products and services support the USDC standard, including digital wallets, exchanges, DeFi protocols, savings, lendings, and payment services. USDC on Tezos and other multi-chain protocols will further accelerate the use of the world's fastest growing digital dollar currency. Centra will provide further updates on the timing of the integration of USDC in the coming days and over the balance of the year. So, had to start with that one first, guys, because Tezos is doing big things, okay? So with USDC coming to Tezos within a couple months, it's going to make moves like this a lot easier because, guys, if you didn't know, Tezos is in the tokenized real estate. And I talk a lot about tokenization on this channel because the tokenization of assets is where we're going. That's what the NFT technology is essentially for, guys. So the one of the reasons why I'm so bullish and I stay bullish on Tezos is because of their specialty, their expertise 
when it comes to NFTs. Now, according to a press release from XTZ News, AquaChain will launch their STO platform on Tezos coming next month. Okay, so these pieces of information, guys, I'm going to if you're a Tezos holder, I'm going to give you the roadmap for what's to come over the next couple months. Okay, going into Q3. Now, in November of last year, it was covered in the announcement of the real estate investment platform AquaChain had began to build on Tezos. That platform is now set to go live in July. Initially, July 1st was communicated to be the launch date, but that was a miscommunication and the final date will be announced soon. Now, Tezos will be used for the tokenization of real estate, which is then traded on the platform. So essentially, guys, AQR will be using Tezos technology to tokenize real world real estate assets and then trade them on their platform. Now, the general property listing platform will launch in July. They are currently onboarding property developers and brokers. They are proud to be on the verge of launching one of the most innovative solutions that will revolutionize the way people invest in real estate using crowdfunding and tokenization through digital assets says that we have not only developed a state-of-the-art property listing portal with a mobile application for retail users, which will be live uh, by the end of July, allowing developers and brokers to get a free listing and sales management platform. But we have also developed our crowdfunding self-tokenization platform for properties, which allows fractional ownership of properties. So, That's also going to be a key thing, guys, when it comes to the tokenization of real estate. Okay, fractional ownership. It's what is what's going to revolutionize these future markets. Okay, because at that point, people will be able to invest in a let's just say 12 story building. It's got about hmm, 100 units in there. Okay. Each person within that unit can own a portion of the building. Okay, (laughs) that's the type of future we're heading to, guys. Now, AQR will have a utility token called the AQR that will also launch on Tezos and will be an FA 1.2 protocol token. The token private presale is currently ongoing and listing on CupiSwap and will be announced soon. So, guys, if you're interested and want to hop in on that opportunity i'll be sure to put the link down in the description make sure you check that out uh it will be possible to stake aqr on the aqua chain platform and earn rewards also lp tokens that can be obtained by liquidity providers on creepy swap can be staked on the aqua chain platform to mark to earn more aqr collaboration with yield farming platforms on tezos is highly uh high priority on their roadmap. AQR will also be bridged to Binance Chain, which will enable a listing on PancakeSwap as well. So once they get listed on Binance Chain and PancakeSwap, them going to Tezos first, they're going to be looked at as a Tezos project. It's going to be looked at as another Tezos coin, okay? which is going to ultimately bring more attention to Tezos. Now, next we got Okay, we're talking hotel hospitality industry. Okay, this is looking to compete directly with your Expedia's and Booking.com because Go Eureka, a hotel booking platform built on Tezos, is set to launch its public sale next month as well. Now, Go Eureka is a travel tech company that is based out of Singapore. They have used Tezos blockchain technology to build a hotel booking platform. Their hope is to reduce the financial commitments of hotels to third party booking platforms that charge hotels up to 30 percent commission. Now, Go Eureka held a successful token sale in 2018 and the tokens were initially issued as ERC 20s. This enabled Go to successfully build its platform and connect to over 
500,000 hotels, which will be available at launch uh, in July of 2021. So next month, guys, big month for Tezos. Uh, Go Eureka's vision is to enable hotels to focus more on resources and providing better intrinsic value and services to travelers around the globe. So if I got any listeners that are avid travelers, okay, Tezos is looking to streamline your travel process, okay, not just for the traveler, but for the hotels involved, okay, further proof of where we're going, guys. That's why I love to report on the technological advancements of these projects, because outside of the price action and the technical analysis, the fundamental developments are essentially what matter, at least to me as an investor, going down the road in the long term, guys. Like I always say, this is a long game that we're playing, but they are now ready to relaunch an updated version of their hotel booking platform using Tezos smart contracts and issuing Tezos-based tokens. They will hold a new token sale for GLT tokens, this time on Tezos, starting July 12th and ending on the 14th. So that's your window, guys. Remember, check into QP Swap. I'll put the link down in the description. Uh, these tokens are set to go live around the 12th, ending their sale on the 14th. So potentially interesting project guys they these uh when these tokens launch they always have high returns in the beginning but you have to keep an eye on them and you got to know when to back out okay you got to know when to back out but that's going to be it for this video guys just wanted to give you really the biggest story that you're probably going to see on youtube all day is usdc will be coming to tezos USDC is coming to so many projects while Tether continues to face scrutiny from the feds and everybody else. So <laughs> with that being said, guys, it's looking very bullish for Tezos. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and of course, subscribe. You can always get down at me in the comment section. And we can talk Tezos. Uh, I'm also on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Find those links in the description section too, as well as digihustlenews.io. But with all that being said, guys, I want you to have a great day. Have a prosperous day. And most importantly, make that money. I'll see you in the next video.